Kane's in there. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting stationery haul video. Exciting for me because there's a particular item that I purchased that I am dying to unbox so I can actually start using it. So that's part of why I wanted to film this as soon as possible. Um, each of the stationery items you see, I mean, there's not a lot of them, but they have come from all different shops like Jet Pens, um, Bang Bogo. I, I don't know if I've got the name right. It's an Australian stationery shop. I'm not sure if I ordered anything from Tokyo Pens, but basically it's just a collection of different stores. There's no one store featured. So, because I don't like to tease, I'm just going to go straight into the pen that I'm most excited about. This is my new fountain pen. I'm so excited. It is a Pilot Decimo pen. I've seen this online so much, um, featured very often, and I really, really want to start journaling with it. So, it comes in this beautiful black box, and it is... Oh, the green light is ruining it. <laughs> But do you see? It looks so good. I love the blue. Blue's my favorite color, so that's why I picked this one. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. Um, but basically, it's a retractable fountain pen, which I have never used a retractable fountain pen before. I've seen this featured quite often in different YouTube videos. It is on the pricier side. It's definitely not like... I'm used to buying cheaper fountain pens, so like $10, $20, but this one was definitely a lot pricier, and I don't know. I'm just so excited to finally try it. So let's open it up. And it comes in such a beautiful case as well. It's like a luxury watch or something like that. But I guess it is a luxury pen. So take it out. I just... I don't have anything like this, so I feel like, oh, I don't want to break it. And I'm not sure if there's anything inside. I'll just put the packaging aside. Okay, yeah. So on the inside, they give you a... Is it a converter and an ink? Um, some ink? Yep, and then just a little user guide manual. I'll take this off and... Oh, okay, so it's retractable. It's quite light, as in like in comparison to what I thought it would be otherwise. For some reason I thought because it was a more expensive fountain pen it might actually be quite heavy, but I did check the weight before I bought it because I don't like heavy pens and it actually does feel quite light. I guess, I guess when you put the ink in it will be a little heavier, but I mean how cool is that? I think it's going to be so convenient and I hope I get a lot of use out of it because I find fountain pens kind of sometimes challenging to use and that they dry out very quickly if you don't use them often. So I'm curious to know what this one's going to be like, especially because it doesn't have a an airtight cap or anything like that but yeah I'm so excited you'll probably see this featured in some future videos um, I'm not gonna ink it up now because I'm not actually sure what ink I want to put in it I feel inclined to put black because that's the color I use the most but it feels so basic right because I have quite I think I have two fountain pens already inked up in black so I don't want to and I have so many other colors I could use so I think I need to sit on it a bit more, but yep, that's my brand new fountain pen and I'm going to treasure it forever and ever. I love it. Speaking of fountain pens, I did pick up another one. This was definitely nowhere near as pricey, um, but I saw it new in the new section, so I thought I would pick it up and give it a shot. I've been trying to expand my fountain pen collection because I've been slowly picking up more fountain pen inks and I don't have enough pens to to like match the inks that I'm getting. and. I don't use the inks fast enough to be able to like clean out a pen and then re-ink it with something new. So I thought I'd pick up a few cheaper fountain pens to try out. I've not heard of this brand before. Um, May John, May John. It looks Chinese or Taiwanese. Potentially Taiwanese because it doesn't look like it's tradition. Uh, maybe it's Chinese. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure at all. But this one comes with a little ink, uh, what's the name, is it like converter? Where you can draw the ink up, which I love. It's one thing I really love about the Twisbees. I just love being able to draw it out. So this is the pen itself. It's such a cool design. I love this sort of marbling, gem-like um, look on it. And it's twist. Okay. I remember this one now. So this one, one of the reasons I wanted to get this is that you can put the actual fountain pen nib on it, which is just in here. So this is, I think it's fine, I think this is fine or extra fine. 
um, I tend to prefer fine or extra fine, I'm not really a fan of anything thicker. But this one is really cool because you can dip this into your ink and you see these little grooves in here, I think it collects some of the ink, gets like kind of stored in here. So it doesn't last for a very long time but then you can write with it. And I wanted this because I wanted a pen that would allow me to change inks regularly without having to um, put in, like without having to use a converter and then storing ink in here and then feeling like I have to use up all the ink before I can switch out the ink because I don't want to waste any, I don't want to get rid of it. I'm a bit weird about putting it back in the bottle again. I don't know if it contaminates it. I'm not very like, I'm not a fountain pen kind of so There's a lot of this sort of stuff I'm not familiar with. So I go based on gut and I feel like this one will make it really easy to just dip in the bottle, right? And then I can just rinse it off and then change the ink. So um, I did buy a bunch of new fountain pen inks and I'm going to be doing a video on that pretty soon, probably in like another few weeks. So I'll definitely be using this pen to do all the swatching for that video. So yes, be on the lookout for that. Again, fountain pens, I got a bunch of converters um, because there's this range of Pilot fountain pens that I picked up probably a year ago. Um, they're kind of like designer entry level fountain pens and they all come with their own little like inks here, black inks. And so I use this black ink for all of them because they all came with it just to use it I suppose. I have no real reason. Um, and I have them in different sizes. I think extra, extra fine, fine and medium. So now that it's been a year I'm sort of coming to the end of the life of that ink. It's starting to run out and Typically, I think, I guess most people would just buy new inks, but I thought I would just get converters instead so that I can use my own fountain pen inks. So that's why I have four, three new converters for those three fountain pens and I can't wait to change out the inks and finally use something different. I also have a couple like basic refills. I already have quite a few refills, but I've been using them up over time, so I wanted to just restock. This is nothing special. If you're familiar with the Traveler's Notebook, then you have seen these um, many times, but this is for the pocket grid. So you can see the grid design. This is for the regular size Oso grid. There. I love the grid. Um, they have a dotted grid, line, plane. For some reason I gravitate more to the grid when it comes to Traveler's Notebook. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's because I like to write Japanese sometimes and the boxes help me like make sure I stay within a certain size range. Um, and then I bought a lined version as well. So yeah, those are my new Traveler's Notebooks refills. Um, and then the last, I think this is the last piece. Oh no, I lie. There's a couple other pieces here. So I picked up a Unibowl Signal pen in 0.38 in the color um, Lavender Black. So it may seem weird, why did I buy just one random pen? It's because I'm missing this color in my collection. Because if you guys have been watching me for any length of time, I love collecting sets. I'm a bit of a collector, I love collecting sets. And this was a color that I was missing. So I decided to pick it up when I saw it online. So I will swatch this um, at the end of the video. I've got a couple more things I want to show you that will need swatching as well. These, I may have mentioned these in a Zempop or an Inku unboxing where I was where a similar looking highlighter had turned up, and I mentioned that there was a brand that was like selling them. I, I think I thought it was a Korean brand, but it's actually a Japanese brand, Sweet Tap PR. Um, and I love these double sided highlighters because I feel like they take out a lot less space. The highlighters, I've only gotten two of these or something like that and I feel like the quality was really good when I got one of them in the boxes so I decided to just get the whole set so I can't wait to swatch these. And the last th th pens I wanted to show you before I start doing swatches are these new mild liner colors. I'm so excited to try these out. I think these colors have been out for a little while now but I only just managed to pick them up. They look so good when I saw them swatched online. I love how pastel and muted they are, like even more so than the existing mild liners. So this is exactly up my alley. We've got um, these ones here, I think it's called uh, natural markers. So these are more natural colors. And then here is um, gentle, Yasashi yeah, is gentle colors. So I am going to swatch these, see what they're like. Start off with the Uniball pen.
definitely a pretty dark purple. I'm so zoomed out. I think where I've placed the camera is very far away, so it feels very zoomed out, but that's what it looks like. Really like this. Um, I'm going to be doing a video where I will be swatching these again in my swatch book, and so I'm going to put these aside. I'm not going to put them away just yet, but I've got a video coming up where I want to show you guys how I categorize my swatch book because if you're like me and you have quite a few pens, it can be difficult to identify which shade of purple is the right purple you need <laughs> when you are journaling. So the swatch book helps with that. So I will do a video on that soon. Okay, next I'm going to swatch the mild liners. Because I'm going to be doing a video on my swatch book, I'm not going to swatch the um, sharp tips. I'll just do the um, bolder tips um, because I'll be doing both tips in the swatch in the swatch video. I can't, don't know why I can't talk. And so really, I'm just trying to figure out what the colors look like at the moment. So this one is a mild gray color. Okay, it's a little darker than the gray color they currently have. This is a cream, mild cream. Oh, that's really, really light. Sorry, it's so far away. I'll bring it up closer to the camera once I finish putting these down. And this is a dusty pink. Well, these are the names they call them like mild dusty pink mild cream and this is olive oh, that's really nice it's a very unique green i could use that for maybe the june spread in hobonichi and this is beige uh, it's not bad i don't know if i use that color very often though so those are the natural colors now i'm going to open up the gentle colors so this one is a sorbet yellow. Oh, it's a little fluorescent. And I wonder what it's going to be like when you compare it to the existing yellow. This one is sword blue. Ooh, I like this one. It's a nice muted blue. This is um, honey orange. Mm, a little brighter. Um, this is baby pink which is a really nice soft pink, and I think this is lilac. Okay, I think, weirdly enough, even though these are probably the colors I would personally use, I like these ones better. I think they're just more unique, and you're unlikely to find these, whereas I feel like these, maybe besides the blue, are a little easier to dupe, potentially. Okay, and then the last highlighters I'm going to test out are these ones from Sweet Tip. Tip. I can't pronounce it. Um, Tap. Pierre, Tapir. I love the color names though. This is like peach and mint. So we'll try mint first. Oops. And then peach. Though it's not really a peach, is it? It's more like a pink. These colors are a little bit more standard. I think the main thing I really like about these is just the ergonomics of them. They're just easy to use. Then we have melon soda, which that's a nice green actually, and vanilla. Uh, a bit fluorescent for my taste and then we have cookie and sweet potato okay oh that's a really nice purple i quite like that so yeah that is everything i picked up in today's stationery haul i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for watching this is selena reporting from my room back to internet mm -hmm.